Well, my apologies, dear guests. But the subliminal urges of Ephah's curiosity make it difficult to maintain the continuity of my little narrative. I am sorry, Dr. Whitty. I, I, I did not intend to interfere with our dear guest's enjoyment. But well, that's quite all right, Ephah. I sense that our dear guest has a certain amount of curiosity about the package also. If you'll remove the wrapping, we shall bring some satisfaction to all concerned. I shall be delighted, Dr. Whitty. And we shall solve the mystery. Immediately after this, we pause for your enjoyment, dear guest. <laughs> <laughs> and ready for your inspection. The most unusual situation, Epo. I'm not accustomed to receiving gifts here at the castle, but let us investigate further. Uh, it would appear to be uh, a bit of uh, jewelry, Dr. Medea. Apparently from uh, someone who is aware of your taste in these matters. Hmm. So it would seem. Ah, you are correct, Epo. It is from someone aware of my taste. Oh, most unusual kind host. Most unusual. And now, Ipal, I have a solution to the mystery. And I shall explain to you and our dear guest. After we pause uh, for this. <laughs> <laughs> Exquisite, is it not, if all? The sparkle and glint of it? I don't believe that I've seen anything quite like it before, kind host. Who is it from? The mystery is solved, if all. It is from an old and valued friend. We met once again at the recent All Hallows Eve conclave. Uh -huh. She told me time she had something for me that she would forward at a later time. Apparently, she determined that this was the time. Did I have the opportunity to meet this uh, benefactor, Dr. Whitty? Of course, he fell. I shall refresh your memory shortly. But for now, I shall resume my little narrative for our dear guest's pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself fascinated by this little gifty bow. A quite unexpected pleasure. How is it, kind host, that you could not sense the contents of the package when it arrived? I, I found that most puzzling. Our old friend, please dispel upon the package to prevent any mental tampering with the package while it was our way to us, Ibao. That would seem a reasonable precaution, kind host. But you were going to tell me the circumstances in which I met the sender. Of course you are. And I shall do just that. After a brief pause for our dear guest to enjoy this. <laughs> 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 most effusively by a rather stunning creature who commented specifically on what a pleasure it was to see you once again after such a long absence from the conclave. Ah, of course, Dr. Whitty, I, I remember it well. Uh, I was flattered that she remembered me after such a long time. Let me see. Uh, Abby Lazar, a most fascinating person, a uh, being, a uh, uh, creature, uh, most fascinating. Ah, oh, but there is more, Epo. Well, however, I sense that our guest is a bit weary of our reminiscences. So I shall return to my little entertainment and conclude my little horror. And so it ends, dear guest. My little tale of terror, that is. I hope you've enjoyed it. But I shall tell you, and Epal, more of this newest addition to my uh, collection, especially some of the rather unusual properties of the ring. But first, 
I think that we should pause for a moment or two so that you may enjoy this. There it is. <laughs> looks most natural on your hand, kind host, in spite of its rather unusual appearance. It was some time after our arrival at the Conte that I mentioned the ring to the Ephi and described some of its unusual properties. What are these properties you mentioned, Dr. Whitty? It seems if I that under the proper circumstances, this ring enlarges the potential for one's own senses. That is, it expands the mental powers of the owner of the ring. Uh, provided, of course, that the appropriate uh, powers have been invoked beforehand. It is this, then, a form of the all-seeing eye that I have heard about for so long? Exactly, Paul. Exactly. The stories have become uh, somewhat overdone with the passage of time, but essentially it is, uh, as you described... A marvelous acquisition, then, Dr. Whitty. Is it your intention to demonstrate the powers of the ring? I think not at this time, Ival. A bit of private experimentation is in order first. Oh, uh, of course, kind host. I understand completely. Oh, oh, what's that, dear guest? Huh? Oh, certainly we understand. A certain amount of anxiety is very understandable. But we hope that you will be able to return soon to the castle. Dr. Whitty and I both look forward to your visits with pleasure. Oh, but do be careful as you leave the castle, dear guest. Pass quickly by chamber 13. It would not do for you to investigate any sights or sounds which might occur in that vicinity. <laughs> 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 